Hi everyone, Adam here. In this video, or this special bonus tutorial, we are going to learn how to make our historical testing framework a little bit more dynamic and a little bit more adaptable to your needs. Currently, the way that we have our season phases set up are, if we go to our testing data, we enter our season phases here. They could be anything. I decided on training camp and in season. And when we go to our testing dashboard, we have these checkboxes. The first thing is that these text fields, they don't automatically come in here. We're going to figure out a way to do this a little bit better. The second part of this is that in our chart data, the area that drives these charts and everything surrounding this stuff, is that we say if the checkbox is checked, then we manually kind of write out what we want. And if you were to change your season phases, for example, if we go to our testing data and I were to change this season phase to, I don't know, spring, and copy that down, and I change this to summer, and copy that down, let's just test this out for now, and we'll go spring again, right? Maybe we have different season phases or uh, we add some more. We go to our testing dashboard, Everything's going to break. What we would have to do to solve this is we'd have to go into our chart data and say, oh, this isn't training camp anymore. This is spring. Oh, and this isn't in season anymore. This is summer. Is that what I did? Did I do summer? And summer. And then everything will work again. And then we have to change it here and so on and so forth. But I'm going to undo everything that we just did. Let's keep training camp and in season. And we're going to set up a way to make this a little bit better. In our admin area, we're going to create another list. I'm going to go over here and maybe I'll, again, I'll give this a dark red background and we'll say these are season, these are season phases for athlete. Make it bold and white. What we want to put in here is we want a list of all of the season phases that the athlete that we selected was a part of. To do that, we can do equals unique, open parenthesis, filter, open parenthesis, and go to our testing data and select column F. Then we can do a comma. So we want everything in column F, comma, when everything in column A, or anything in column A, is equal to, which is the athlete's name, is equal to, and let's go back to our testing dashboard, and select the athlete's name that we pick, and close the parentheses, and click Enter. And now we see the season phases show up for the athlete that we've selected. If we go to our testing data, and let's just add that person again who's who's in our dashboard, we'll just add them. We'll say this is, tr I think it was Trey, yep, Trey Sung. And we'll add a new season phase. Let's say this is Adam's, Adam's phase. And if we go to our admin area, there's Adam's phase. Perfect. The one thing that I want to change here is I want to make this all uppercase, just like we have in our testing dashboard right here. To do that, we can use a function called upper. So in this formula, right before this testing data F to F, we can do upper, open parenthesis, and then close the parenthesis after the F to F. What we're saying is that we want to get a unique list of all of the season phases in uppercase when the athlete's name is equal to the athlete's name in our dashboard. And we can click Enter. If we want to sort this list from A to Z, what we can do is we can add on a sort function. So before the unique, we can say sort, open parenthesis, and then close the parenthesis at the end, and click Enter. Now we have an A to Z sorted list of all the season phases for the athlete that we picked. Great. So far, so good. I'm going to go to our testing data and remove this Adams phase now. And we'll see in our admin area that it'll go away. The next step is that in this testing dashboard area, instead of typing in this manually, 
we're going to use data validation. We're going to make it a drop down list that automatically updates based on the season phases that are available for the athlete. So in our testing dashboard, we'll select our first item here and go to data, data validation, project input, list from a range is correct, and let's select our range by clicking on this box over here. When we do that, and it says select a data range, let's go to our admin area and select admin 02 colon O, which means that we'll get all of the, va the variables that go from O2 all the way to the bottom of the sheet, and click OK and save. Now let's go back to our testing dashboard. Now we have a drop down menu here of training camp and in season. Let's do the same thing here. So for this in season, we'll go to data, data validation, reject input, and select our data range. Go to our admin area, select admin 02, colon O, OK, save. Now in our testing dashboard, we have two drop down lists, each containing the season phases for the athlete that we have selected. The last step in this process is to go to our chart data and change the way that we do this. Our current formula says if the testing dashboard J41 or the checkbox next to training camp is true, then we want the value training camp to come back. But instead, we're going to remove that. Go to our testing dashboard, and after the testing dashboard J41 equals true, comma, we're going to select whatever we pick in our drop down list here and click enter. And then we're going to do that again for the in season. Instead of hard coding it, we'll make it dynamic. So we'll remove the in season in quotes, go to our testing dashboard, and select whatever's in this cell, which again is a drop down menu of all the athletes' season phases. And what we're saying is if this checkbox is true, then we want to show data for whatever this season phase is. And we can click enter. And what we'll notice is that in our testing dashboard, nothing has changed. It's all the same. But what this allows us to do is let's say that in our testing data, we set, let's do that spring uh, summer thing again. So instead of training camp, now all of a sudden we have spring. And instead of in season, all of a sudden we have uh, summer. Copy this and paste it again. We're just changing our season phases here. Let's go to spring. And if we go to our testing dashboard now, things will be broken, but we don't have to manipulate anything in the chart data area. All we have to do is select our new season phases in these menus. So, all right, let's have spring go here. Let's have summer go here. And all the check boxes will still work the same. If we don't want to see the spring data, we uncheck it. If we don't want to see the summer data, we uncheck it. And remember, if we go to our chart data area, we can add as many of these as we want. However, when we do that, we have to accommodate for them in our formulas. I'm not going to go through that in this video. I will go through how to add one more season phase, though. In our testing data, let's change one of these summer sessions to be winter. Let's say this is winter. We'll copy it, paste it down. Now we have another season phase. How do we accommodate for this in our dashboard and in our formulas? Well, the first thing that we're going to need to do is in our testing dashboard, we'll have to create an area and create an equation to accommodate for it. So I'm just going to copy what we have here and paste it. And because this list is automatically updating with all the sessions that this athlete has, we should be able to see winter, and we can select it. And remember, there's another checkbox. Now, if we go to our chart data area, let's just move this stuff down a little bit, and we'll call this event three. Let's copy this formula that we have right in here. And then we just have to change a couple of things. Copy, paste. 
Now, instead of testing dashboard M41 being true, we want to know whether in our testing dashboard P41 is true or this checkbox is true. And if it is true or if it is checked, then we want to bring back not testing dashboard K41, which is this dropdown, but we want to bring back whatever's in this dropdown, which currently is winter. And we can click enter. Cool. Now we have three events here. The very last thing, or there are two other things that we're going to need to do to operate this in two different areas. It's the first in this formula here with our dates. Currently, this is a really long formula, and we're not going to get into all of it. But in this plus area, as I briefly des described in the video where we went over this, is all we have to do is add a plus sign, open parenthesis, and say, oh, and also when the testing data F to F, so we can copy this, equals AC19, not AC18. Because remember, this is an OR statement. So we're saying show us all the dates for when the testing data uh, or our season phase equals this, which is spring, this equals summer, and this equals winter. And remember, these season phases showing up is dependent on us checking the checkbox. So we have control over what dates we show based on what we decide to check and uncheck in our dashboard. And we can click Enter. Notice we added one more date. If we go to our testing dashboard, the last thing that we have to do is in this formula where our dates show in our table, is we have to do the same type of thing. Down here, we say testing data F to F equals chart data AC17, which is the thing that shows up when we check the checkbox. And we have the same thing for testing data F to F or the season phase being equal to AC18, which is our second area here. And what we have to do is do the same thing where we add a plus sign, copy what we have in here, and paste it next door. But instead of chart data AC18, now we want to know about chart data AC19, because that's where our third season phase lives. And if we click enter, whoa, look at that. It added some more data, and we see the winter phase added in. Now we have control over three different season phases. So if we decide, hey, we don't want to see spring, well, that's fine. If we don't want to see winter, that's fine too. If we don't want to see, see, see summer, that's okay also. Maybe we just want to see winter. Well, we can do that too. So that's how we accommodate. Well, that's how, now we did two things. We made this a more automated process for if we want to change our season phases or add more. And the second thing that we did is we added accommodation for another potential season phase in this entire dashboard. Thanks for watching. I hope that this video was helpful. If it was, please make sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. But before I go, I need to show you something because I can't live like this. I can't live with this hanging off the edge for a third phase. So I'm gonna un I'm gonna unmerge. All of these cells and we're gonna have to be very careful here unmerge all these cells and we're gonna move things by clicking on them dragging with the hand over maybe we reduce the font on all of this instead of it being 10 we'll do a size 9 so that things are smaller in case the phase is longer and if we need to what we can always do is we can actually uh, make this we can go to format Make sure that it's the text is wrapping, and we can make this row size a little bit bigger. That way, if we have a longer season phase, for example, we'll call this winter, um, we'll call it winter, 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 maybe three winters in a row, in case we have a little bit of a longer season phase. Go to our testing dashboard, and we'll select it. Now it'll still fit. Let's make this a little bit not as thick. Uh, nah, we'll keep it. I'm going to change it back to winter now. Oops, just want one of them. Okay, now we have different phases.
go to our testing dashboard, and we just need to move move these things a little bit more. So we'll move the summer over, move that checkbox over, move this winter over, and this checkbox over. And what we can do is we can remove the formatting here, remove the borders, go to data, data validation, and remove that validation. And now we have everything that kind of fits vertically aligned, center aligned, and we have and now we have three phases. So if you want to add another season phase or you have another one, you would follow the process that we just did. Uh, it might be a little bit of a hurdle trying to fit all these different check boxes and things into the dashboard. But if you can manage that, then you shouldn't have an issue with adding as many season phases as you'd like. Again, thanks for watching, and I'm excited to see you in other videos.